Hi guys! Today we're gonna talk about one of the most iconic hybrids of orchids out there. If you love fragrance, stay here because today we'll talk about the beautiful chocolate orchid or the Oncidian Cherry Baby. This hybrid was created in 1983 and has different Oncidian in its parents. One of the parents of this orchid is the Oncidian Sotuanum, that's also the parents of the Oncidian Twinkle. I don't know if you have heard of the Twinkle. It's a small type of Oncidian, much more compact, but also has a very sweet scent. And what's so iconic about these orchids, not color or shape, it's perfume. People that love sweet scents, in love with chocolate and vanilla, they love this orchid because it has a very powerful fragrance. If, however, you are not really into sweet fragrance, you get sick, you have sense sensitivity, this orchid can be very powerful, it can be a problem. I have sense sensitivity, so for me, every time I am very close to this orchid, it can get very powerful. I cannot stand for a while, but not for a very long period of time just as a caveat before I start. So as I said, this was hybridized in 1983, and until today, lots of people want to have this plant in their collection because of its fragrance, more than anything else. Some people refer it as chocolatey, I think for me it's more like hot chocolate type of fragrance, mixed with honey, if that makes any sense. But yeah, it's very sweet, uh, it's very intense, but it can be lovely for some people and it's a very tough hybrid as well so it's an amazing orchid for you to have in your collection to increase your collection maybe to gain some experience with the Oncidian Alliance family because again it is a tough plant so it's very easy for you to adapt to your home conditions this plant differing from Phalaenopsis and Bandas that are monopodial what are monopodial orchids are orchids that instead of creating new divisions they will create one leaf on, off the, on the top of the previous leaf and that's how they grow they have a central axis and they will grow new leaves on the central axis this plant the oncidian cherry baby it's a simple orchid which means that instead of creating new leaves it will mature new growths and will produce a pseudobulbs the pseudobulbs, let me grab this monster here, oh gosh. The pseudobulbs are these very, oops, the spike is broken. It's very rounded the structure here that stores water. So every time the plant mature one pseudobulb, we'll be able to bloom, produce a flower spike for you. And the pseudobulb is also, as I said, able to store some water and keep the plant hydrated. For you to have new blooms, you need to have mature pseudobulbs. So every time one pseudobulb completely mature and grow, you'll be able to have a new flower spike. That way you can also divide your plant. If you have more than three pseudobulbs, you can remove the older part of the, the plant, like three pseudobulbs together, for example, can pot it separately for your own collection or to give to a friend or someone else. Another thing important about this plant that's also an epiphyte, so like Phalaenopsis in this case, this plant doesn't grow in soil, it grows on top of trees and tree trunks, so you need to pot it in a medium, in a mix that we offer this plant air and moist at the same time. So I would advise you to pot it in whatever mix you use with your other orchids, if they are also epiphytes. But, because it's an oncidian, although it has pseudobulbs to store water, this plant needs a little bit more water than cattleyas, for example. So if you live in a very hot country, I would advise you to place more moist materials. If you live in a country like I do, I use bark and moss and evenly all across the region because I know that when it's summer I need to water this plant more often because it's a <laughs> great producer of roots so this plant has a huge a mass of roots so it needs a lot of water when it's hot 
And now that's very cold, I can water it 10 days, for example. The mix can dry out, but don't let it dry for very long. The plant won't be very happy. It's different from Cattleya, that you can leave everything to dry out before you water it again. In this case, it likes to be even moist. So when it started to dry out, offer it some water, it will be very happy with it. More than that, the temperature that you should offer this plant, the same temperature that you have in your house, this is known by being an intermediate temperature type of orchid, so it enjoys temperature that goes into the range of 22 degrees Celsius to a maximum of 30. Not really happy when it's extremely hot and it doesn't survive to freezing conditions, so don't let this plant outside if you live in a place where it can get very, very cold. It won't enjoy it, but it loves intermediate temperature. And when it's extremely hot, or if you have, live in a dry environment, for example, you need to water this plant more often. The thing with Oncidians is that it's not as tolerant as Cattleyas and Phalaenopsis to drought. So you need to keep an eye on the water. If you live in a country like I do, like in London, that's pretty cold and humid, you will won't have any problem. But I know that if you live in a maybe hotter environment, you need to keep an eye on it because if it's dehydrated for very long, the plant will have such a wrinkled sore bulbs. That means the plant is in desperate need for water. So you need to offer it a very, very good watering. That's the only thing downsize for a home growing. I have some other disadvantages that I'll tell you towards the end of this video, but just for you to know. Another very important thing about this plant, let me put it back, sorry. I hope you can still see it. Whoop. Another important thing about this plant is that it is a highlight plant. And different from Phalaenopsis, I'm only giving you the example of Phalaenopsis because it's the most common orchid out there. You can keep it in maybe places that are not so bright, you know, near a windowsill with some indirect sunlight. This plant needs its bright light. So if you have a window that receives southern exposure, if you live in the north, northern hemisphere, it's perfect. Uh, if you have some bright growing lights offered, it will enjoy. In order to spike and to bloom healthily, these plants need some bright light. That's another thing that's very important for you to bear in mind. Different from Paphiopedlans and Phalaenopsis, that you can grow almost anywhere if it has some natural light, not in a completely dark space, but they are more flexible with lighting. On seasons, in general, they need their bright light. So look for a space where you have maybe strong growing light or a southern or eastern exposure window. More than that, if you live in a home environment with intermediate temperature, offer it bright light. It will bloom for you multiple times a year. Mine has another flower spike coming, a very, very tall flower spike, and which produces a bunch of flower tons of very very strong scented flowers and you have an iconic orchid at your home i have to say that i had to re-record this video because i noticed that something was not right and when i went to check on my computer i didn't record the first part of the video so you're gonna see me with a completely different clothes that's the second part of the video i will let you watch that now haha <laughs> found a way to show you why I'm talking. It's heavy, it's a massive plant. It enjoys its humidity, but not fancy. Whatever you have at home, it will be okay for this plant. It will feel comfortable uh, at your home. The disadvantage of the Sherry Baby, although it is a very, very tough orchid, one of the disadvantages is if you're very sensitive with fragrance, maybe don't keep it closer to you you can experience with it i wouldn't have more varieties and types of sherry babies for example i think it would be too strong for my taste but one is okay and i think it's a classical orchid to have in your collection however another disadvantage it's its size it is a massive oncidian it gets larger and larger and larger each year as you can see here i have one two three I don't know how many pseudobooks I have, but they are rounded shape and they are very, very large. And the plant is potted maybe in a, 
I don't know, 18, 19 centimeters pot. It's a large one. No, I think I'm, yeah, there is maybe 16, I don't know. So it needs its space. Think about it when you buy a cherry baby if you live in a flat like I do, because this plant needs its space. And another thing, it's pests. Again, on seasons, with pests, they are pain in the ass to treat them. So if you want to have many on seasons, and if you have pests on your collection, treat them immediately, because it's really, really hard to be on top of pests with your seasons. They have so many leaves, uh, and that they have the sheets as well, so in between the leaves, it's really hard for you to treat with oils, sprays, and something else. So for me, that's one of the disadvantage. For me, treating these plants is like, especially with, because it's so large and the leaves are large as well, <laughs> I spend a lot of time spraying them. So think about it. I don't know how I'm gonna treat off my plants in the living room yet, since I have pests. This one is doing okay, because again, it's if you touch the leaves, they are not as thin as maybe Miltoniopsis leaves, for example. Miltoniopsis, oh my gosh, pests, they, they party with them. They are, they enjoy munching on them. So these leaves, they are thicker. However, pests love them as well. Pests can munch on them forever and it's quite hard to treat them. So keep that in mind. But if you have the space for it, if you're curious about that, I think it's one of the easiest transitions for you to grow. It's not the kind of transition that will give up on living very quickly. If you have a healthy plant, oh my gosh, I'm sure it will bloom for you every year. It will reward you with a thousand of red and fragrant flowers. And I think you will enjoy it. So that concludes my video today. What I want to tell you is just give you some tips if you have ever thought about acquiring this orchid or if you just bought it and you don't know anything about it. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye! Mm -hmm.